Ripple's suite for cross-border payments is the most promising and most adopted project in this space. And it is also clear that 30 organizations are piloting with Ripple and they are going to enter into production contract for on-demand liquidity. And that's going to happen soon. So when you see in pilot, don't be confused because you are not seeing in pilot for connectivity solution, which is Ripple Nets connection. And now, as you understand, it is the pilot for liquidity solution. So it's the liquidity part platform because the Ripple Nets connection can reach any banks from Ripple Net via the multi hop. And looking at the Ripple Nets liquidity platform and the reach, it looks really fantastic. Now, this was a old one and currently it's being updated, right? The connections partnerships are expanding, extending, it going, it's going everywhere. So the liquidity platform is covering almost every region, even in this one on this planet. And it's expanding as we know. Now, why I say it's expanding? Because after Brazil, now it's Cambodia. The Central Bank of Cambodia are in talks with Ripple. So that's, you know, something which we Ripple uh, investors, XRP investors have to look at. Why? Because guys, this is going to take off soon. So fasten your seat belts and prepare for the ride. Welcome to the Scientific Investor family, where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly. If you guys saw value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. If you would like to extend your support, you can use the Patreon, PayPal or the XRP wallet address in the description below to support the research in this channel. Now, if you would like to get more support for your portfolio, which includes various other assets, you can use the Patreon link in the description below where you would be able to discuss about other assets, research, charts, setups, trading setups and other stuffs. Okay, now let's jump into what really is happening this. Né? Is this idea mm -hmm, new? No, right? So is this idea new and bombarding just now? No, absolutely no. The gap in the industry was always there. And with Swift's mechanism, it was always clear that someone had to step in and close that gap. But now that age old system is nearing its end, we are entering into an era where we need to close that gap. So are you really an investor? or just here for the hype. Now, you only you are the only guy who understands that. And if you are really here for hype, uh, we don't have it, sorry. But if you're here as an investor looking about the fundamentals and the facts, you're in the right place. So if you want more info to stay updated and educated, watch the next few minutes of this video, you're gonna get it more you're gonna get a hell lot of value in this just stay concentrate so now this particular article it's really old right back in 2018 so if, if it was published back in 2018 and a lot of citations in this article goes back way 1990s 1980s you know in that era and when you come to the abstract just to know what it is they are talking about funding liquidity the ability to raise cash on demand Mm, cool. And the market liquidity, the ability to trade assets at lower cost. Now with XRP, you have both. You are able to do both instantly. And it is the only regulated institution which offers such a system to banks, mm -hmm, corporates, organizations, every aspect of the business. Now, if we actually jump back into this particular article, now, yes, it's not a small article, but there is a lot of information which we will have to cover through it, right? This is a white paper and starting from initial pages, we have a lot of information. See, this is page number two of this article. And what are they talking here? They are highlighting that the money entering into the space has reduced in significant manner towards Bitcoin, whereas the same has been opposite for other projects. So in their words, while blockchain's original you know, uh, will uh, come towards here, where in the past six months, mm -hmm, it seems that 
The venture seems to have reduced over the past six months. Investment in blockchain technology unrelated to Bitcoin has sharply increased over the same period. So when investment was going down for Bitcoin as a project, other projects were getting attention. Now, when we say other projects were getting attention, other projects are getting adopted. You have to actually look at this. This kind of gives you a clear idea. I hope this is actually clear for you guys. So this one is really important to understand. We haven't yet reached that level of adoption or implementation. But if you look at the announcement, a proof of concept, pilot and implementation, rest of the states, what you can look at is what is here, cross-border payments, which company is providing that? Which company is tied up with central banks? You know, it just gives you simple and easy explanation where we are headed now. When we say that, you know, the naysayers can come out and say it's not directly talking about Ripple, the company. For those guys, I would like to take you through this article at least 5-10 times where they are using the name of Ripple and its liquidity solution, right? So, let's move on to the page number 3. So, this is page number 3 of the same article and what are they really talking about? Uh, sorry, that was page number 4. So, let's move on to uh, uh, the next area where it actually details what we have to focus on. Say here it states Standard Chartered and Deutsche Bank are working with Ripple's distributed ledger technology. So it's clear that they are using Ripple's DLT solution, right? We went through their own document previously, documents from reports from Standard Charter, DBS and others. So what are they doing with that technology? Mm -hmm. To transform physical invoices into digital assets on a shared decentralized ledger, reducing the potential for duplicate invoice financing. So read that again. They are turning their current things into digital assets. So if they are doing that, say changing value from fiat to a digital asset, the best bridge which they can get is XRP. Now, read further. This gives the participants the ability to access a single source of information on the status of invoices, uh, pledged against financing reduce across all participating banks. So this is not just for one bank. Instead, we are looking at something which will be the standard for a finance hub. Say, as we continue, it reads, the initiative is focused on Singapore, an emerging fintech hub. With the Monetary Authority of Singapore and Infocom Development Authority of Singapore participating in that project. So is this something really small? No. Now, the next thing which we have to understand in this particular article is they talk about a lot of different aspects of this thing, which is the cross-border payments, the payments issue. They talk about how they are looking at this. Now, when we look at the next steps within the cross-border payments, how they are looking at this cross-border payments span a number of use cases. P2P, business to business, payroll, vendor, bank to bank. You know, there's a lot of things. Now, if you look, say we have competitors in this particular space, right? P2P, where it's uh, XLM, Stellar Networks. You know, they actually do that in a better way. That's, you know, we have to agree if they are better in something, right? But if you look at the entire scenario of payments, it's a ripple. No one can actually do that. And when you come here, the traditional cross-border payments often involves multi-hop, multi-day process with transaction fees charged at each stage. So that is where, even if you are not in RippleNet, Ripple's multi-hop allow you to do that without these fee and instantaneously. Mm -hmm. So for small payments, transaction fees can be, you know, painful. That's for sure you don't even have to think about that because this is the process which, you know, has uh, been there from decades. Now, this is what we are looking at. And you look at the source here, they are giving you the name as a Ripple directly. So that's page number 36. And you can look at the figure here, figure 14. And they show you this and highlight Ripple. Now, is that the only time when they are highlighting Ripple? No, in this document, Ripple, the company is being highlighted multiple time and when we say multiple time it really is multiple time showing the impact of the company now dlt offers an opportunity for even faster cross-border payment processing and the example they gives here is ripple labs dlt do you have a doubt 
okay anyway global network real time domestic cross border payments so global network for real time domestic and cross border payments so they are going to target both the market as a secure distributed ledger the ripple consensus uses the consensus process to settle transactions so are they just talking about the pilot program which is uh, happening here or are they talking about this one just the connectivity of a ripple net they are talking about the liquidity because without that liquidity you can't settle those transactions now at that stage they clarifies like ripple states that they have over 30 pilots completed with 10 banks moving into production remember that guys they have 30 pilots completed in which you know bank of england and other central banks are there and 10 of them is moving into protection now we don't know which 10 are actually going into protection until ripple announces that now yeah we all know the non-disclosure agreements are keeping the information behind the closed doors but it's going to come out truth is something even if you put that inside something you know one day it will come out shining and that is what we are waiting for as investors because if we have the hint about that we should be using that opportunity once that light comes out there won't be an opportunity to invest because by that time the price would be at new all-time highs now if you look at that list ripple's customer list includes atb financial cibc national the cibc national bank of abu dhabi rice bank santander unicredit ubs and a long list from there now when we understand that this is happening for a reason which is you know reduced cost of using their suite of products and an additional cost savings using ripple's liquidity platform mm -hmm. so short and one day settlement reduces funds tied up in no straw accounts they have a lot to offer and what are they looking at in place of having to hold local currencies in multiple no straw accounts ripple offers banks an option to hold xrp so will it be only you and me buying xrp and holding it in our ledger or will it be banks and financial institutions buying huge chunks of the market from xrp liquidity and putting it in uh, custody services what do you think if banks are becoming their own custodians cool still cool they're gonna buy they're gonna hold so if an asset has a limited supply and you know for ripple the supply burns itself whenever a transaction is happening the supply is reducing and if the demand is increasing at the same time or even if the demand stays same over the long period it's going to appreciate in price now we have reducing supply and increasing demand that's basic economics right the price is going to go up way high now why are the status quo looking at this incumbent software providers in the payment space have recently announced integration with ripple's cross-border payment solution providing the architecture to offer real-time cross-border payments at a lower cost to providers banks clients now that's what we are looking at right that's a new perspective hmm. ripple is an additional payment rail complementing the existing offerings the provider integration approach provides banks with access to ripple while overcoming compliance constraints and vendor risk assessments now while we talk about this we also need to understand things are actually evolving in multiple ways if you don't look at it on the way which we are looking at it now you may miss out something but understand if you are entering into a online website of a bank say it's your bank you're entering into that platform and you are going to remit money from us say for example to india you are watching say you're going to send a thousand bucks and one option it will reach same day with 10 percentage or eight percentage fee another option it will reach there in five days or three days mm -hmm. three percentage or four percentage fee another option instantly it will reach there with near zero cost what will you as a customer adopt there is no question about that right now next thing is ibm is working with ripple to add direct access to cross-border payments so ibm is already working with stella which is p2p network now here is a ripple which is for uh, enterprises mm -hmm, enterprise grade solution and now they are integrating everywhere now 
D plus H has integrated Ripple into Global Pay Plus. It's a global payment service hub offering. Now that's one area. And if you look and read through this area, say from page 37, you're going to get a lot of different partnerships. Mm -hmm. CGI has incorporated Ripple into Intelligent Gateway Solution. Earthbot incorporates Ripple into Protocol DLT Payments Hub, blah, blah, blah. You continue, you get a lot more. Mm -hmm. Another solution here, huh, you will become tired reading Ripple's partnership, which are coming into light. Mm -hmm. And the status quo are really worried about their breakfast, lunch and dinner because it's going to be taken away from them if they don't stay relevant meaning if they can't partner with a company like ripple they're gonna be kicked out soon and when we say soon it really means soon now when we actually watch all of this stuff we have to understand ripple the company is making things happen they're going places and if you are an investor in xrp you should be really looking at things and how it's evolving sbi ripple asia ceo expects greater on-demand liquidity expansion into Asia by 2021. Now, those who are familiar with economics already understand that the era of West is still there. It's running cool due to pandemic. It's getting a bit of kick down. Now, at the same time, yeah, the whole world is getting that effect. But looking at the demographics, the age, education and other factors here, Asia is going to be pumping soon and Looking at the decade or a century of Asia ahead, you are going to see this expansion into Asia. Now, when we say that, keep this clear in your mind. If the entire Asia is going in on demand liquidity, automatically those who trade with them would also jump into that. Now, I actually had a lot of information to share with you guys today. Let me see through how many documents we can actually go. Now, these are kind of old documents which connects back to this one, which kind of gives you an information about what are happening, right? Ripple is going after startups to build an ecosystem around XRP cryptocurrency. Now that really happened via Xpring, right? So that did happen. Now, when the Xpring is coming out with different uh, ideas, different, you know, variety of stuff, which is solving real use cases, real pain points in the financial industry, we all understand that there is a future for that technology. And then comes the final date, which is closing on us for ISO 2022 adoption. Now, if you really want to actually get into that payment space and be interoperable, you have one of a solution here, which is being adopted by central banks, which is being tested by, you know, uh, upcoming Asia, there won't be much of an option for uh, the status quo to keep up with this. Now, it seems that partnership between Ripple and IBM is not official, but there is a proof. And this document, which I showed you, I got it from All Crypto. Credit and shout out to him. Now, when we look at XRP poster tweeted out by uh, Stedas, I see myself here as a scientific investor. I'm really happy to be on that list. So thanks a lot for uh, Stedas. So, you know, I would be looking at buying a poster and shipping it somewhere unless my atom is going to scratch over it. But anyway, I'm going to look forward for that. Now, next one is Bank of Japan speeds up development of central bank digital currency. You know, Asia is pushing on to this one. We previously saw about South Korea delaying that and then changing their mind and just rocketing their effort towards digital future using central bank digital currency. And now... It's Japan again moving in. Now, when Japan enters this market, you should be really looking at Ripple's improvement in adoption. Why? Because they are the guys who are pushing this within Asia. Being one of the advanced economies in Asia and pushing this in Asia, that can give a kick off within Asia. Now, yes, inside Asia, it's really happening. Now, once that gets completed, Others who want to trade with Asia will also come onto the same table. You have any doubt? You have to look at why. So if they are to trade from one currency to another currency, they have to go through a lot of different steps if they are using the international settlement, using the status quo system. So for that forex settlements, they are going to use the newer technology. And that's for sure. If they are not going to use that, there's no way to survive. Now, Ripple as a company is now being 
vocal about many things and here it's highlighting UK Financial Conduct Authority provides a rule model for digital asset regulation. That's like calling, you know, regulators around other nations fools. Like, look at them. They did that. Why they can't you do that? That's what they are actually asking there. So it's kind of easy thing to understand there. Like one nation, a developed nation, mm -hmm. is coming up with a clear framework for digital assets. Others across, say, Japan and others are actually giving it different names. Even US gave like virtual currencies, digital assets. So the name actually varies, but the use cases of payment tokens, hybrid tokens, it all varies, right? But they are giving a clear framework, a regulatory clarity so that the businesses can set up in that country and innovate without being kicked out right so they don't investors won't actually risk their money if the regulatory clarity is not clear there now once they get clear regulatory clarity it would be the herd coming in the so herd mentality from businesses would be there and that you know has to be understood once you know the uh, entire stuff between us and china is going on i don't like saying it but something will replace the us dollar that's from Jim Rogers. Say century of USD reign is ending. When they say that they are looking at China, the rising power, which is already rolling out the central bank digital currency within their cities, piloting that, trialing that, experimenting, whatever you want to call, but they are there. They already are in protection with that. And look at where the US is. So that's kind of giving you an entire picture of what really is happening with Ripple the company and payment space. Guys, if you so value for your time here, please do support the channel, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And if you would like to support the channel, the research being executed here and providing you guys value, you can use the Patreon, PayPal or the valid address in the description below. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.